The origins of Chinese Kung Fu are shrouded in the mists of antiquity. As far back as prehistoric man, imitating the movements of animals as he sat around the cave fire. And so the tradition was handed down. But there was no system to it, nor any structure, until the abbot of Shaolin, concerned for the well-being of his monks, refined Kung Fu in the 72 basic styles. As a result, the monks of Shaolin became the leading exponents of Kung Fu throughout China. Mr. Cho, I suppose you want to be my student. Yes, I'm Sung Yi Ting. I've pledged myself to learn Kung Fu, but I know I'm still ignorant. I have a long way to go. I've been looking for a teacher without success, but I heard you're an expert, so I have come to test you out. Test me? I thought you wanted to be my student. I want to have the best teacher, but you can't beat me at Kung Fu. How can I ever expect to learn anything from you? <laughs> All right, you've got guts, and you're smart. And if you do beat me, feel free to use this stick to beat me for my insolence. And I'll promise you my complete loyalty. All right, and if you beat me, I'll not be your teacher. I am very grateful. Are you ready? I'm ready. Now. <laughs> Butterfly fist. <laughs> Do you know any other styles? Sorry. Weren't you just using the Wu-Tang school method against me? I've learned so many styles, forgive me. The study of Kung Fu fighting is ongoing. Don't ever hope to master all of them. So be careful. Thank you for your advice. Bye. Goodbye.
Mister, don't lose your temper with a boy. Can you tell me what happened here? He's a thief. He stole my money. Who do you say stole your money? It's nothing to do with me. If you gamble, rub it. Yeah, 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 gentlemen, what? can't you see your way clear to forget it? Whatever you lost, I'll pay. Uh, no, no, hey, no, 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 Liar! A pack of lies. I ain't never stole that much. Huh? I swear I only took four tails of silver. Hmm. Here it is, back. Hey, yeah, hey, it's 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 All right, I don't want any trouble. Let him go. No, 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 next time. Yeah. Yeah. You're Keith. even worse than them. But it's their money. You should give it back to them. Aren't you grateful to me for saving it? Why should I be? I didn't need your help. They wouldn't have beaten me to death. Oh, why not? So if they kill me, they'd have to pay for my funeral. A waste of money. They wouldn't do that. <laughs> hey, where are you off to? Where I go is none of your business. Oh, whatever your reason, you did help me. Mother said, never forget to repay a favor. If I don't follow, how can I repay you? <laughs> <laughs> Mister, these are all the dishes you ordered. Help yourself. Mm -hmm. Want to join me? <laughs> You're not such a bad fellow after all. But... Here you are again helping me to a big meal. Before, you helped me. And now, you help me. You see, I'm helping you help me. <laughs> first things first, I'm Chalcier. But I don't know who you are. What's your name? Sung Yi Tung. I'm looking for a man who can beat me at Kung Fu, so I can learn from him. You want to learn? Hmm, that's a laugh. And you haven't found a teacher. Hmm. Perhaps I can help you. We have a place here called the Victory Gym. The man who runs it is an expert. Gentlemen, gentlemen, the most powerful blow of all. And now. Here it is. style is one of the supreme achievements of Gong Fu. It's impossible to hurt me. If you think you can, then register here. Come on. Register please. here, register. Master, this man. Oh, you want to register, do you? Hey, where's your money? <laughs> Sung Ting Yu, I like Gong Fu. I want a good teacher. Oh, you've come to just the right man. I'm the best teacher there is. Uh, 20 silver tails. <laughs> no problem, but before I pay you, I'd like to have a fight with you first to tell you. <laughs> What's that? You dare to challenge me? Yes, that's right. If your kung fu isn't better than his, what's he want to bother learning from you for? Eh? Uh, what's that? He knows kung fu already. <laughs> I don't know that much, but no one's beaten me for five years. Uh, what's that? For the past five years, nobody's beaten you? That's right. Shall we start our contest? Uh, uh, hey, hey, uh, get in there, lads. Uh, uh, show him what you're made of. Come on, get in. Oh, yeah. Hey! Hey! Oh! Hey! Ah! Master, please. Oh, I'll show you how good my gung fu is. Hey! I'm done for. Hope it didn't hurt. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sung, you were great, really great. Uh, hey, I'm not going to stick around. Uh, Golly, hey, what a lot. Hey, come, come back. Hey, come back. Come back. Why did you 
you lie to me? That fat fool didn't know any Kung Fu at all. You were trying to pull a fast one. Don't be angry with me. I didn't like the way he cheated people. I wanted you to give him a good thrashing. You really sorted him out. Oh, my God. I forgot what time it was while we were talking. You really a monk? <laughs> Buddha's name be praised. I'm now called Shao Shur. I'm a Shaolin monk. I have a grand master who likes his meat and his wine. He requires me to come to town every day to buy fresh meat and more wine. Don't believe you. Monk doesn't eat meat, nor does he drink wine. You're trying to pull a fast one again. I wouldn't cheat you. Hmm. Hold this. Oh. Seen that before? Not bad. I could show you some other tricks. Hmm. Would you believe me if I said, my grandmaster's an expert. He's better than you. This is one way to get into the place. Here. I should let you know my grandmaster has strange habits. I don't know whether he'll take you. That depends on your luck. We'll just have to go ahead and find out. Grandmaster! Grandmaster! Where are you? You son of a bitch, stop yelling. Here I am. Huh? Hey! Yo! Hey, Grandmaster. Ow! You good for nothing. Where have you been all this time? I hope you're not trying to starve me to death, huh? I'd never do that. You gave me no money, huh? but you wanted fresh meat. What am I supposed to do if I can't pay? <laughs> I've got faith in you, my lad. You'll make it yet. <laughs> hey! 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 Ah! Hold it! Huh? Yeah! Ah! Ah! Is that you okay? You stupid bastard. What do you think you are doing? How dare you bring a stranger uninvited? What are you trying to do to get me killed? Uh, Grandmaster, you shouldn't say things like that. I would never do that. He is some new thing. He's a good man. And he wants to learn Kung Fu. So I brought him along to see if you'd like to have him as a student. Abbott, I've been looking for a good teacher. He said you're an expert. I'd like to test you. <laughs> you want to be my student. And also you want to challenge me. Both of you want me to demonstrate my Kung Fu, but it isn't so simple. Ah? Uh -huh. Try again. Uh, I have heard that you are an expert. Well, my guess is you are afraid to fight me because you're not confident you can win. <laughs> you're a stupid young fool. Hey! Hey! I'm gonna teach you a lesson. What a stink! Oh, bull! It stinks. You're the one doing the smelling. Better show me some respect, you young pup. <laughs> or I'll have to punish you. <laughs> Do you still want to fight me then? <laughs> no, I don't. I've seen enough to know you're an expert. Please, let me be your student. Teach me Kung Fu. I don't want you. Why should I? What use are you to me? I don't need to have any students. Uh <laughs> Grandmaster, or this... Uh, <laughs> ow! You've said enough. You'd better quickly get this fellow out of here. If your superior finds out he's here, you'll be in deep trouble, my boy. Go! <laughs> ah. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
Jack of all trades, but master of none. Too bad, too bad. <laughs> huh? I've an idea. Hey, don't worry. I think I know a way he'll take you on. But you must do what I say. Hmm. This is the style called Hungry Tiger. What Kung Fu is that? It's called Shaolin Tiger Fist. Watch this. Tiger comes out. Tiger hiding. Right now. Tiger undefeated. <laughs> How was that? Weren't you impressed? How much Kung Fu do you know? <laughs> Not much. Hmm. Hey, you mustn't give up. Buddha teaches us always to have hope, whatever the situation. Hey, Buddha never said that. <laughs> Does it matter who said it? Hey, the main point is, you shouldn't give up so easily. Hey, are you still intent on learning Kung Fu from my master? Certainly. And there's only one alternative. You will have to steal. What do you mean? My grandmaster, is a good man. If you beg him, he'll give it to you. But if he refuses you, then you attack him. Learn that way. He'll have to fight. It's a simple trick. After all, you want to learn his kung fu, not just talk all the master. That smells good. What do you say we split it 50-50? <laughs> split it in three <laughs> and give me the parson's nose. <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> hey. Hmm? hey, where has it gone? Uh, hey, 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 give it to me. Uh, 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 Grandmaster. Uh, uh, easy now. Uh, no need for that. Uh, uh, hand it over to me. Come on now. Uh, all right. Uh, give it to me. Uh, come on. Uh, oh, give it to me. Hey. Uh, uh. Master, let me be a student and I'll give you a chicken. Uh, 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 you. Oh, Grandmaster. Oh, you're a disloyal knave. How dare you help him to cheat me? Explain it now. Grandmaster, uh, I wouldn't dare. I'd never do anything against you. Don't you try to get out of it. Huh? I know just what you want me. You want me to teach him Kung Fu. Uh, <laughs> I know what you're up to. I'm warning you, I have basic rules. I drink plenty of wine, and I eat red meat, eh? and I take no students. <laughs> if you aren't going to take me as your student, oh, I'll just have to eat all this chicken. Uh, hold it! <laughs> uh, don't try taking it from me. Uh, uh, I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> he can't have it. He can't have it. <laughs> hey, watch out for the chicken. <laughs> Parsons knows. Oh. <laughs> Hey, quick, watch his moves. All right. Okay, I'm all right, I'm all right. Go on, go on. Go on. Okay. <laughs> hey. 
Never mind. Go on. All right. Why'd you have to keep hitting me there? For? Because I like to hit you there. Why'd you fall on me? You lying knave. Uh, you use your small kung fu against me when I know so much? <laughs> You're a fool. <laughs> Uh, hey, how was it? How much did you learn? He hit me so often, I only learnt one style. Huh? Only uh, one style? Uh, Are you ready? Uh, 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 both hands. Uh, all right, I got it. Uh, 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 I'll block it. <laughs> Very good. Now we'll see what happens. He won't hit me in the chest again. <laughs> Hey there, I see you're improving. I want you to cook a roast duck for me. Have a breakfast. I'll be happy to do it. Mmm. Mmm. Smells good. It looks tasty too. Should be nearly done. Yes, it is done. Oh. 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 <laughs> when will you ever learn? How dare you play tricks on me? You're asking for it. Uh, Grandmaster, easy now. It's all a mistake. A mistake? Huh. Come down. Hey, quick, it's a good chance. Go on. Right. That doesn't work on me. Uh, doesn't work? Huh, we'll soon see. Your basic kung fu is no good. You can't move fast enough. And you don't have enough strength. And your body movements are like a street fighter. It's too easy for me to trip you up. Hey! Yeah. Hey! 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 <laughs> How's it feel, eh? It's uh, no good. I fear my back's broken. <laughs> You've still got a lot to learn. Hey! 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 Grandmaster. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're improving. Not too bad now, huh? Not good enough. Ah, uh, uh, Grandmaster, I don't dare. I'm sorry. Thank you for the chicken. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm afraid it's too hard for me to learn kung fu. Don't say that. I'm half dead because of you. I'm the one who suffered. How's that? Are you giving up? Uh, Brother Shung, I give up. Will you uh, forgive me? It's my back. You can't give up. On your feet. But I can't stand up. Give me your hand. Uh, how's that? Are you better now? Uh, huh? I'm all right. You can take that. Ow. Bastard, you are tricking me. I wasn't, Brother Shung. I was testing your reactions. Not bad. You're a born kung fu fighter. Who uh, said that? He just learned a few styles. What's good about that? If you meet a real fighter, you ain't gonna stand a chance. Huh? Master! He's prepared to let me learn from him, so why has he refused to take me as a student? He has his reasons. We know what they are? About ten years ago, he had one student who was called Chi Kung. He was an intelligent lad, and he used to practice hard. Grandmaster was devoted to him. He taught him everything he knew. But he didn't know Chi Kung was a Lama, chief of the Golden Wheel Lamas. Earlier, the former chief Lama had visited Shaolin and challenged the abbot Chak Yun. He was seriously injured in the fight. He made his way back west, and before he died, he made Chi Kung take a vow to avenge his death. 
So Chi Kung laid his plans. First of all, he came to Shaolin. Later, he stole the secret Shaolin manual, the Book of I Ching. started drinking wine from that day to this. He hasn't missed a single day. Why is Chi Kung? After he had escaped from Shaolin, Grandmaster sent out many men to look for him. For the past 10 years, we haven't found him anywhere. Mm. Hey, there's no need to be upset. I have an idea of how you can learn Kung Fu more quickly. How's that? <laughs> Think our Shaolin Kung Fu is pretty good? Mm. Oh. Hi. 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 I didn't dare. Where are you going? You're not allowed to leave the Shaolin Temple. First, tell me who you are and what reason you have for coming here. I am Sung Yu Ting. I like Kung Fu and I want to be your student. Rubbish. What is your reason? You must have a reason. If you don't tell me, you will be severely punished. Uh, Grandmaster, he's telling you the truth. I know he's interested in Kung Fu, so that, uh, uh... How do you know? Where did you meet this gentleman? I... Master, sure you met him on the outside. That is the only way. He will have to be punished for breaking the rules. Listen, Abbott, I want to learn Kung Fu. It was my idea that he should bring me along. You mustn't blame him. Please punish me instead. But his name be praised. You are prepared to do that. At least you are loyal. It's just too bad that we take no students. You will have to look elsewhere. Ji Hung, can you show the gentleman out? Yes. Buddha's name be praised. Buddha's name be praised. Yourself. Help yourself. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Master Sue, you have entertained me very well. 
I am very grateful to you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to mention it. Tibet's so far away. And as a good friend of my assistant, mm. I welcome you as my guests. Thank you, Master. Here, let's toast the health of our chief. Thank you. To your health. Wang <laughs> 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 Kang, you double cross me, and you, you. Chief, you're just not smart enough, that's all. We've already placed our oath to our new master. Huh? You want? You. leave. Pledge an oath to your new master, and we'll spare your life. <laughs> How could all of you men be so wicked? My father trusted you, but yet betrayed him and then murdered him. I swear as long as I live, I'll tell everybody I meet about your crimes. I want the whole world to know what plans you have to take over control. Stupid fool, you're forcing me to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> My friend, how dare you take advantage of a defenseless young woman? <laughs> We're the Skyhawk clan. Stay out of it if you want to live. <laughs> I'm not going to allow it. You leave the girl alone. <laughs> I can't just pass by and ignore her plight. <laughs> Are you a bad spirit? I'm going to teach you a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Go back and tell your chief I'm Sung Yu Ting, and this lady stays with me. We won't forget you. We'll be back. Come on. Okay? Uh, Go over there and take a rest. Uh, Sit down. Thank you for saving me. I had to help you were alone. I couldn't permit you to be killed. 
but you've been badly hurt. I'd better get some medicine. Thanks a lot. You're too kind. I'm most grateful. You should be safe here. Nobody will come. Wait for me. I'll be back soon. Shusha. Huh? I've got a friend who's badly hurt. Can you get some medicine for me? But I'm so healthy. I haven't been hurt. Why do I need medicine? Ow! 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 What did you hit me for? Well, you've been hurt now, haven't you? So get me some medicine. Ah! Oh, my luck deserted me the day I met you. The abbot will punish me. He really beats me hard. Ah, oh, Buddha's name be praised. So this will do. This is the finest medicine we've got. As long as he's alive, he'll recover. Now go on, go on. Hey, don't forget you to bring me some. Food. I got it. I got it. Don't forget. Go. So Yao Fanglin is a Tibetan Lama. He's taken over our clan and plans to use the Skyhawk clan to control all the other fighting clans. He was afraid I would tell of his plans, so he tried to kill me. Lady, you take it easy. I'll sort out this Tibetan Lama for you. Oh, uh, this is Shu She, and he's my best friend. Buddha's name be praised. This Yao Fanglin is a wicked man. When people know about his plans, they'll stop him. You'd better eat. When you're better, I'll go and have a word to the other Shaolin monks. They'll know what to do. <laughs> Little monk, you've got a big mouth. So did you? I warned you we'd meet again. Our new chief of the Skyhawk clan. You're a filthy traitor. I don't want to be near you. If you hadn't come after me, I'd come looking for you. Bastard. Too bad. Your courage will be the death of you. teaches you Kung Fu. You don't know a thing. Your master must be an ignorant idiot as well. Who said that? So late at night. This is hardly the time for such slander and rubbish. Hmm. Grandmaster. Hmm. You're useless. Old monk, stay out of it. It's nothing to do with you. Buddha's name be praised. I enjoy good food and wine, and I love a fight. You're the ones who'd better leave. You run a grave risk challenging me. Hmm? <laughs> 
student may hey <laughs> a lousy student may have a good master huh? <laughs> Grand master so you've agreed to take Sung as your student <sighs> what do I want with such a lousy student he will upset me each time I see him <laughs> Captain Wang, you mean you were no match for one defenseless girl? I suppose you've got an excuse. Uh, 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 it's all my fault. I never expected this old monk to show up. He was too good for me. Otherwise, she'd be dead already. A monk from Shaolin? What was his name? Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I forgot. Forgot? I... <laughs> I can't really blame you, but little wonder we're having trouble with you as captain. Please forgive us. Forgive us. Master, shall we attack the Shaolin? No, not yet. We must kill the girl. We can't have her telling our plans. Uh, Mitsu, be careful. You've only just recovered. <laughs> what a nice young couple. You must really be leading a pleasant life out here. Too bad it's going to end so soon. This is Yao Fang Lin. Miss Su, don't believe all of the lies. An ignorant young pup like that tells you about life. Otherwise, you'll live to regret it. And now, you're gonna leave with me. I'm gonna take revenge. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, Miss Su! Uh, Miss Su! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Go 
don't bring them back alive. Now after them. Six! This way. There they go. Brother, would you let me through? My friend, it's a temple rule. No strangers are allowed in. Brother, they'll be killed. Do me a favor. What's going on? Shusha, what is it? Master, please help me. Master, Shusha, how dare you come back here with a woman? You know the temple rules, and you have deliberately broken them. I cannot forgive you this time. Master, their lives are in danger. They're being pursued. I had to give them sanctuary. Master, as a Buddhist, I have a duty to others. You cannot let them be killed. <laughs> Master, they're the people who've been chasing us. They're the ones. All right. Better take them into the hospital. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Go! Buddha's name be praised. This is a temple. So kindly behave and obey our rules, or you risk our wrath. Well, Skyhawk clan, we've come here in pursuit of a traitor, and we demand that you hand them over to us this minute. Buddha's name be praised. They have sought sanctuary here. They're under the protection of Buddha. You had better turn back. I'll talk to these people later and decide myself if they're traitors. And if they are, I'll return them. If you don't hand them over right now, we'll burn your temple down. You are a monk yourself. How could you dare say such a thing? Huh. We lamas are traditional enemies of the Shaolin. I'll make you eat your words. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, be patient. The hospital's just over there. Buddha's name be praised. The Shaolin Temple is holy ground. How dare you fight within these premises? I assume I'm addressing the Shaolin Chief Yanzu. Yes, I am the Shaolin Temple Chief Yanzu. I am responsible for everything that goes on here. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Hand over the traitor immediately. Otherwise, I'm going to fight you Shaolin monk to the death. Your attitude surprises me. If you approach this temple in humility, you will be welcomed as an honored guest. Old monk, I don't have time to listen to this. Hand over the traitor right now, or else we'll have to take her ourselves. If you insist on ignoring what I've said to you, you leave us no choice but to use our kung fu. Please, gentlemen, turn back now. Old monk, I swear we'll meet again. Come on. Yanzu. Where are those two? I put them in hospital. Send them up to my chamber. They need to be interviewed. Yes. This is a temple for training monks. It is not a refuge. I'm afraid you must leave here immediately. And don't ever come here again. Abbot, I've been many places for years looking for a master. Please take me on as your student. But his name be praised. I've made my decision. I won't take you on as a student. Brother. You may refuse, but I am more than happy to accept him. Brother, you really want to be his master? That's right. He is intelligent and he is brave, and he was born to be a fighter. 
But you know the rules. We don't accept any students at this temple. I know. Once we have that traitor Chi Kang. But brother, you are aware the new Skyhawk chief is Chi Kang himself. Buddha's name be praised. <sighs> brother, this man Chi Kang has caused us much trouble in the past. We sent monks after him. But I am afraid that we went against the teachings of Buddha. I think we can forget him. Anyway, he will die soon. Buddha will see that he gets his just desserts. You mean we're going to leave the Yiching manual in his hands? <sighs> it is fated. But, uh... uh Grand Master, you are wrong. Shusha, how dare you talk like that? You've forgotten where you are. Chiku, let him have his say. Yeah. Grand Master, you have taught us that in order to help people, we have to practice virtue. But you let Chi Kang commit crimes, and he kills innocent people. He's a devil. But you won't interfere. Isn't that against the laws of Buddha, letting evil thrive? Besides... Continue. Let's hear it. Besides, this man, Chi Kang, threatened to burn down the Shaolin Temple. He's power mad. If you do nothing to stop him, he'll control all the clans. The common people will suffer. And to be sure, so will we suffer. Grandmaster, think again. How can we face our ancestors with this? Mm. Buddha's name be praised. For one so young, you're most eloquent. That was very well argued. Can I take it then, that I can take him on as my student? Buddha does allow us to study Kung Fu, to beat evil. But gentlemen, please remember you have to practice mercy. Do not use violence unless you must. Mr. Sung, do you understand what I'm saying? I understand, and I am willing to convert to Buddhism. Hmm. That's good. That's good. Thank you, Master. Mm. Brother, Chi Gang isn't going to rest till he kills her. You had better take her to Phoenix Court. She'll be safe enough under their protection. Yes, sir. Kneel down and bear your head. The ceremony begins. First, we cut off all your hair to sever links with the past. From now on, you are a Buddhist monk. Show mercy to all the peoples of the world.
Fighting. Each move requires all your strength. Come on! What have I done to deserve a student like you? Why don't you concentrate? Want to make me look a laughing stock? Ah, you're driving me mad. A monk. Are you ready to die now? It's you. Why are you here at the temple? I am only visiting. I used to live here. Tell me, what is your name? I am the monk Chi Sing. Hmm. So they've changed your name already. The abbot has been very hospitable to you. Who is your master? Pu Chia. Before he was known as Yan Lan. Ah, that's good. Who'd have guessed that we'd have the same master? You are a traitor to the Shaolin, so you can't say we're brothers. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We still have the same master. Because of that, I'd like you to tell me, where is Miss Sue? I don't know. I wouldn't tell you even if I did. Ah, all right. I'll have to put the question another way. <laughs> For someone who's a Shaolin monk, your kung fu is really lousy. You don't have any power. Let me teach you how to use it. I'm not your master. Why don't you fight back? Because you're my master. You strike the first blow. I thought I just told you I'm not your master. Then please forgive me. Allow me to demonstrate the skill of Shaolin, the special technique of shadow boxing. Oh! <laughs> 
So you've learned the top shower in style. Hmm. I have had the I Ching manual for 12 years. If I had not mastered it by now, I'd regard myself as an idiot. <laughs> What you want to say? You uh, please come closer here. Mm. Uh, uh, I. I have to leave to find Yao Feng Lin. Hey, you're crazy. Nobody's allowed to leave without the chief's permission. I don't care about that. I gotta go, even if I get killed. Ah. Yu Ting, Yu Ting. Uh, 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 Grandmaster? Why aren't you too busy practicing? What are you doing here? Uh. Master, please allow me to leave. I must take revenge. Your Kung Fu is not good enough. You can't defeat Yao Feng Lin on your own. Besides, you are a Buddhist monk. Remember his teachings. You cannot allow yourself to think of revenge. My master was so good to me. If I don't avenge him, I'll never rest. Please let me have this chance. Give me permission to leave. If you want to leave, you'll have to first take me on in combat. After that, you may go. Master, please forgive me. I must try. Your Kung Fu still poor. You won't last long outside. Stop it! 
Ji Ting. If you still want to leave, despite a good reason, I remind you it's against our rules. You will be confined to your study and clean floors for six months and read all the manuals. Yes. If I read all the books, what use is it? It won't help me get revenge. You have to learn mercy. Otherwise, you will learn bad ways. Your skill at Kung Fu is minor compared to the state of your soul. You have been confined here for one month already, but you still haven't grasped this basic principle. I feel sorry for you, my boy. Under there, too, must be spotless. <clears throat> Abbot, please teach me Kung Fu. I may be the person in charge here, but when it comes to Kung Fu, I know very little but I can teach you a few breathing exercises. Once you have mastered how to breathe, you will find your power increases. How can I learn? I don't know where to begin. Let's start with the basics. The way to control your breathing is to let your strength flow around your body. Gradually, you find that it picks up speed. Do you really still want to learn? Yes. <laughs> That's good. Now you have mastered breathing. You'll find your strength much increased. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me. Now you have to remember the principle of mercy. Kung Fu is for killing. There is a contradiction to resolve here. If mercy is in your heart, and you truly have faith, you'll find your Kung Fu will improve rapidly. <sighs> when your master died, he requested the chief abbot to let you stay with me. He wanted you to learn the secret style of the Shaolin Buddha finger, because only that style is capable of defeating Yao Feng. The basic thing is to concentrate all your power into one point. You can imagine the blow. It can easily kill. That's why you use it rarely. Don't forget what I say. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Now you can do it. Listen. Softer the better. 
you'll find it difficult to break it. If you want to use your finger, you'll have to train hard every day. All right, try it again. <coughs> Shusha? Shusha? Mm. Where have you been? Don't you know how late it is? What are you asking me for? Fact is, ever since I met you, I've had really terrible luck. How come? You were just confined to the study room, but I wasn't as lucky as you. Master made me clean out the toilets for three months. Even now, I can't get asleep because I can still smell it. I'm sorry, it's my fault. You have had to suffer. Oh, forget it. I don't mind having to clean the toilets for you. But it's never very good to let someone else suffer for you. Who? Oh. Who do you think? You've forgotten the girl? It's Miss Sue. How is she? She now wants to be a nun. Oh, she was such a beautiful young girl. Now she's to be a nun. Buddha's name be praised. May Buddha bless her. Please, let this bad man see the light and let him be free of sin. Praised, Buddha's name be 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 praised. Miss Sue, do you want to become a nun? Don't you think that's a waste? No wonder I couldn't find you. Yao Feng Lin, you. <laughs> Nobody is going to save you now. What are you doing out so late? Enjoying the night air? Now, Fangling, you are a traitor. You've committed far too many crimes. You must return to the temple with me. <laughs> Only if you can defeat me. Then I will obey you. How dare you! <laughs> Missou, run away! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Yes, sir. enough power. You'll never defeat your enemy, even if you're more skilled than me. Understand? Mm. Brother, I'll leave you in charge. I will meet with him. Brother, you're the chief of the Shaolin. You can't risk it. Please let me go instead. Buddha's name be praised. If I have to sacrifice myself, so be it. Chi Kang is a traitor. While he still lives, peace will not return to Shaolin. I'll take Chi Kang with me. Congratulations on becoming a lammer again. It's been 15 years, and now I finally have the chance to destroy the Shaolin. <laughs> Will you please forgive me for having to fight you? Buddha's name be praised. Mr. Yao, you're not my student anymore, so don't call me master. I don't acknowledge it. The reason I've come here is to return the I Ching manual to the Shaolin temple. Also, I must ask you, refrain from violence. Stop all this fighting. Abbot. Surely you remember the time my master came to you at Shaolin and you killed him? I only pretended to become a monk, to steal the book. I only wanted to avenge my master and prove we lamas are superior. I've worked all my life for this. You can't talk me into giving up no matter what you say. Bless you. Bless you. Shaolin monks and lamas are both Buddhists. Why do we always have to fight each other? No more talk. I'm gonna beat you. Cheating! 
Chi Ting, it's terrible news. The chief has gone out to meet with Yao Feng Lin. Huh? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should be better than his student. How come? You Shaolin monks protect your master when you're better. <laughs> Young man, you've improved. Facing your enemy, you have to aim for his weakest point. Use the Buddha finger accurately, and you'll find you will win whatever he should try to do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
You thought you were unbeatable. How's it feel to lose? <laughs> you may have overcome one of my styles, but that isn't enough. Yeah. <laughs> Show him mercy. Let him go in peace. Why don't you kill me? I've learned to show mercy to the enemy, even to wicked men. We don't kill. That is our rule. You may go now. I am the devil. I must die to prove that Buddha exists. <laughs> 